Hey guys, tired of blurry and distorted images while capturing with your standard lens? Well, it's time to invest in a high quality lens. You don't have to worry about soft or distorted images while using these lenses. Purchasing a lens for your Canon 80D is not easy by any means. There are a number of options on the market, which makes it difficult to choose the best one. In this video, we compile a list of the top 5 best lenses for Canon 80D on the market today. Be sure to watch till the end for our best recommendation. If you want more information or updated pricing on the products mentioned here, check out the links in the description below. If you have another product you'd like us to review, let us know by leaving a comment down below. So without further ado, let's get started. First we have Best Video Lens for Canon 80D Canon EF 50mm f1.8 STM A lot of users witnessed some flawless and crisp images while using it. It's reported to have a decent build quality, moreover it has a silent and quick autofocus. It delivers an astounding low-light performance with a shallow depth of field with extreme reliability. Its pros are, it's very cheap yet delivers great images. It has an outstanding image quality for the price. It is compact, lightweight, and decent build quality. It is ideal for sports, nighttime, and action capturing. The stepping motor ensures silent yet smooth autofocus. And it delivers 80mm focal length on APS-C while 50mm on full frames. However, the bokeh is a bit busy. There's no image stabilization offered. And it does not offer any sort of warranty. Bottom line is, it features a 50mm focal length with a maximum aperture of f1.8. The minimum focusing distance is 1.15 feet, 0.35 meters, with 0.21 times magnification, and it is the best video lens for Canon 80D. Next, we have Best Portrait Lens for Canon 80D Sigma 18-35mm f1.8 Art DC HSM It's an incredible shooter whether it comes to videos or images. Most users were astounded by the low-light performance and booker quality it offers. Additionally, it's composed of a hypersonic motor for fast autofocus and silent operation. Its pros are, it features a 72mm filter size. That comes with a 0.23 optical zoom. It is a USB dock and MC11 compatible. The minimum focusing distance is 28cm, 11 inches. The wide glass molded spherical lens paired with the SLD element and it supports Canon EF, EFS, Sony Alpha, DOT, and Nikon FDX mounts. However, there's no optical image stabilization. The focus motor is not the most silent and a tad slower. And it's relatively heavy when compared with other lenses. Bottom line is, it features an f1.8 maximum aperture and an f16 minimum aperture. It's A ring type ultrasonic type AF motor paired with manual focusing and the best portrait lens for Canon 80D. Next we have Best for the Money Canon EF 85mm f1.8 USM This is another great lens with decent build quality and multiple features. What recent buyers reported is the astounding image quality and stellar performance. Being a standard and medium telephoto lens, it's highly practical for a wide range of applications. Its pros are, it has a one-year manufacturer warranty available. It is compact design with only 15 ounces weight. It is designed to deliver some beautiful background blur. With super spectra coating for minimized ghosting and flare. And a fast f1.8 aperture for low light and shallow depth of field. However, the lens is not zoomable. It does not offer wide angle capabilities. And it's not ideal for sports, action, capturing images. Bottom line is, it features an 85mm standard lens with an f1.8 maximum aperture, the ring type ultrasonic motor for fast focus with a focusing distance of 2.8 feet. And the nature angle of view provides ideal portraiture and nature photography. Next we have Runner Up Canon EFS 15 to 85mm f3.5 to 5.6 IS USM. This lens is perfect for amateurs as well as professional photographers. If you're looking for a walk-around lens, we suggest considering this one. Its ultrasonic motor technology allows a silent operation, while its superb glass elements enable some crisp photography. Its pros are, it can be used with APS-C cameras. 
The lens construction is 17 elements in 12 groups. The 35mm is equivalent to 24 to 136mm focal length range, with 15 to 85mm variable focal length for multiple purposes, and is highly compatible with 72mm filters. The closest focusing distance is 1.15 feet, 0.35 meters. However, the indoor pictures depict a noisy output. There is distortion at 15 mm focal length, and it delivers average quality images under low light. Bottom line is, it features a 15 to 85 mm focal length with an f3.5 to 5.6 maximum aperture. It is compatible with 72 mm filters with the closest focusing distance of 1.15 feet, 0.35 meters and a dedicated image stabilization feature to minimize shake. Finally, we have Best Overall Canon EFS 10 to 18 mm f4.5 to 5.6 IS STM. This lens is ideal for landscapes, real estate, portrait, and even wildlife photography. With its multi-purpose functionality, it can be used as a professional and an amateur lens. Additionally, you can perform some super quiet video shooting thanks to its stepping motor. Its pros are, the closest focusing distance is 0.72 feet, 0.22 meters. Has a super quiet video shooting with a stepping motor. It has optical image stabilization for minimum camera shake. With drive system lead screw and rack system is driven by stepping motor. And the lens construction is 14 elements in 11 groups that offers superb sharpness. However, there is a barrel distortion in some cases. The mount is of plastic build quality, and there is ghosting when shooting light sources. Bottom line is, it comes with an ultra-wide EFS zoom lens, with a stepping motor installed for silent video shooting, and it features a 10 to 18 millimeter focal length and f4.5 to 5.6 maximum aperture. There you have it, our top five best lenses for Canon 80D on the market. Check out the links in the description below for detailed information and the latest pricing. If you thought this video was helpful, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. If you didn't, let me know why in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video.